This is a queen ant, and the fate of her colony rests in her hands. Over the next thousand days, she must build an empire, but danger lurks nearby. A rival colony watches closely, ready to strike if she falters. Failure means war, the destruction of her home, and the loss of everything. In the first crucial days, she carves out a nest, laying the foundation for her future kingdom. Underground, her first generation is beginning to emerge. But above the surface, the battle for survival has already begun. Competition is fierce, and rival colonies are everywhere. Her journey is just getting started. She remains hidden deep within her nest, never venturing beyond its secure walls. Instead, she relies on her workers, tireless and devoted, to guard her and ensure the colony's survival. But danger lurks nearby. An intruder has arrived, a rogue ant, scouting for new land to claim. This invading colony has made its home just outside my door. Sensing the threat, the workers spring into action. Their first priority, defense. With remarkable speed, they construct a barricade, sealing off their entrance. Their queen must be protected at all costs. But they know this is only the beginning. A battle is inevitable, and to stand a chance, they must strengthen their forces. An army must be raised, and for that, they need sustenance. Foraging is their specialty. They scour the ground for seeds, hauling them back to their underground storage, an intricate network known as the bakery. Here, they crush and process their bounty, transforming it into the fuel that will sustain their growing numbers. The colony is preparing. War is coming. They ground the seeds into a fine paste, shaping it into nourishing ant bread, an ideal meal for their growing larvae. Weeks passed and the colony flourished, their tiny bakery fueling a surge in population. But the newly emerged workers were frail, their movements unsteady. They needed sugar, an energy source like honey. Yet the sweet reward remained untouched until a lone wild ant stumbled upon it. At first, she seemed insignificant, just a curious intruder. But soon, reinforcements arrived. An attack was inevitable. The colony fought back, but they were overwhelmed. Chaos erupted. In the end, I did what I could, rescuing as many of our ants as possible before retreating. But the fate of the colony had already been sealed. The devastation was irreversible. I worked tirelessly, eliminating the intruders one by one, yet the cost was immense. Most of the colony lay in ruin, the survivors barely clinging to life. Still, even in their weakened state, the ants honored their fallen. With unwavering determination, they built a burial ground, a silent tribute to those lost. It was astonishing, a testament to their resilience. They had suffered a brutal defeat, but was this truly the end? Or was it just the beginning of their fight to reclaim what was theirs? Now, they proceed with care, knowing how crucial the honey is for their survival. This time, they take no chances. As they drink, their tiny tongues flicker, eagerly lapping up the sweet nourishment. But then, something unexpected unfolds. Instead of leaving the honey exposed, they begin to bury it beneath layers of dirt and debris. It's a brilliant strategy, concealing their precious resource from outsiders. By protecting the honey, they safeguard their queen, the heart of their colony. She alone ensures their future, laying the eggs that sustain their numbers. As long as she lives, their colony has a chance to flourish. By day 600, the colony had evolved beyond a mere fortress. It was now a well-oiled war machine. But today, a new challenge arrives. Here are 100 fire ants. They are aggressive, relentless, and much like my neighbor's unruly children. The invaders swarm in, their mandibles snapping. The colony erupts into chaos. Some workers retreat deeper into the tunnels, while others stand their ground, locking in fierce combat. One defender lunges, sinking its jaws into an intruder. Another falls, overwhelmed by sheer numbers. The battle rages on, a brutal test of survival. Though the colony fights valiantly, a few enemies still manage to slip through. Their first move. The kitchen was in chaos. Tiny wings buzzed furiously as the two colonies clashed over every inch of available space. The wild colony had claimed the countertops, swarming over crumbs and spills, 
while my original empire fought desperately to defend their territory near the sink and pantry. I watched as the battle unfolded, a brutal and unrelenting struggle for dominance. The air was thick with movement, bodies colliding mid-air, falling, only to be replaced by more reinforcements. My pets, once wary observers, now retreated entirely, unwilling to interfere in the war raging around them. Then, I noticed something alarming. The wild colony had a leader, a massive fly, larger than any I had seen before, directing the swarm with eerie precision. My empire was strong, but this was no ordinary invasion. This was a coup, and if I didn't act soon, my home would belong to them. Deep beneath the earth, the colony made its final stand. To protect their queen, the workers escorted her to the lowest chambers, shielding her with their own bodies. The upper tunnels lay in ruin, abandoned in desperation. Yet, amid the chaos, one worker remained behind, struggling against the enemy's relentless grasp. The invaders were not satisfied. They wanted everything. This was the culmination of a thousand days of survival and sacrifice. The queen had once begun alone, forging an empire from nothing. Now its fate hung in the balance. Would they allow it to fall? To protect their queen, the colony did not retreat. They stood their ground and fought. Rushing to her defense, they clashed with the enemy and my pets joined the battle. Bursting through the surface, they turned the tide, forcing their foes into retreat. Victory was within reach, and before long, it was theirs. The wild colony vanished, never to return. Watch the full video for all the details, and I'll see you in the next one.